Hi, I'm Margie and welcome to my kitchen. Here I have corn. I have 12 years of corn here on the table and I'm going to show you how I make corn. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I just bought the corn and so I've already got my water boiling because when you buy corn you want to make it right away. And the water's boiling. What I'm going to do is add, there's a lot of water in here. This is a very large soup pot. And here's just a little milk. I'm going to add a little milk to the water. And this is sugar. I'm just going to sprinkle a little sugar in. See how much I've got here. I'll show you. Okay, a little sugar into the water. Not even quite that much. I'm going to get rid of some of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring that back to a boil and I'm going to chuck the corn. So I have a pan here, it's a 9 by 13 pan, I just lined it with some aluminum foil. And I'm just going to go ahead and start taking the outside off the... Oh, uh, by the way, I also put newspaper down on my table so I can collect all of the of the husks. That looks really pretty. So now I can just wrap this up and if you have a compost pile, which I don't, that would be nice. I'm just going to go ahead and put this into the garbage. All cleaned up so making chucking corn it really isn't so messy. So the water's boiling. Now since I have 12 and I know I can't fit them all in here, I'm going to cook half of them. And when you put the corn in the water, let the, the corn cob touch the water and drop it in carefully. Don't drop it above the water because the water will splash. So I'm going to go ahead and put six. I could fit more in here, but since I can't fit them all, I'm just going to go ahead and do six. I'm going to bring the water to a boil again, and then I'm going to time it for 10 minutes. Another thing you can do is if you're really busy, like you're having a cookout, you can go ahead and you're going to cook it for 10 minutes boiling. So why don't you just put the timer on for about 15. And I know this water was almost boiling, boiling, but the corn is going to slow that down. So the corn will be ready in 15 minutes. Then I can think about something else and I don't have to worry about what's going on with the corn and the bell will go off. I'm going to put this butter, this is a stick of butter, it's a little less than a stick of butter, and I'm going to put it in the microwave. This is 12, it's going to be 12 years of corn. So I'm going to melt the butter and I'm going to put it into this 9 by 13 pan that I have lined with aluminum foil. So when we take the cooked corn out of the water, we're going to drain it pretty well. And then I'm going to take this melted butter. Now there's no holes in the aluminum foil. So you want to make sure that the, it's down in the corners so, the, so it doesn't tear. That's the important thing. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this butter all over the bottom. All right, I'm going to save part of it for the second batch. All right, and then you can sprinkle, if you like a little extra salt, you can sprinkle it on there. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll roll it around, I'll roll the corn around in the butter and then I'll put some salt on it later. It's been 10 minutes for the corn, so I'm going to go ahead and take them out and let them just drain for a moment. Then we'll put them in the butter. I'm going to put the other six corns in. 
I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it on for 15 because that worked really well. At 10 minutes, it had just come to a boil when I put the corn on before. So now it's drained. So I'm just going to put them in and we can roll them around a little bit in the butter. Okay, and I'm going to just take them right out and put them into a container. What you can do with this container, I just put them in, is you can put some aluminum foil. If it's going to sit for a little while, like a picnic, and that'll help keep them hot. Now I can season them up a little bit more with a little bit of salt, just a teeny bit. Of course we'll put a little bit of butter on the table so people can add butter if they don't believe there's actually butter on here. <laughs> so now we're going to wait for the other ones and I'm just going to put the rest of the butter in here and we'll wait second batch. I have these little traditional corn pointers. They're little pins or I don't know what you actually call them, but they go in the ends of the corn. I have this little one. I have a couple of these. You know who this is. I got those when Grant was four years old or three years old. So you can put those in to the ends of your corn. Don't forget those on the table. Or what else you could do. Ouch. So you could, of course you have your corn holders. Or you could actually take a couple of toothpicks and do the same thing if you don't have that. And you could put them all in before you even serve it so people will just be able to go ahead and take it and then they can throw it away and you don't have to worry about losing your little whatever these things are. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Corn holders. Now I'm going to show you how to take the corn off the cob and serve it on another day or later that day so you don't have to make it while you're cooking everything else. So my corn is made and I, I made six first. So what I'm going to do is take the take one that's a little bit cooler and I have a knife that is not serrated. You don't want a serrated knife because then the, the kernels all jump around and fly off the table. You want a very flat knife and you just start going down with your edge. As close to the cob as you can. And take it off. Now on your cob you're going to have some left. The corn is really sweetest right next to the cob. So if you take your, your knife and just slide it down, I've tilted it and sliding it down just to get whatever's left on the cob, that's going to be the sweetest part. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, a little pepper, the fresh pepper. I'm just going to go ahead and put it into a, a dish because I'm going to serve this tomorrow. It's only going to be four of us, but I'll bet we eat all of it. I shouldn't, I shouldn't actually admit to that. but. My sister's mother-in-law was over at the house the other day and we made corn and 
I, she's 90 years old and I had taken the corn off the cob for her and she didn't realize it, but she ate three, she ate three corn cobs. She kept saying how fabulous it was. It's possible she hadn't eaten corn on the cob for a long time because it was too hard for her to do that. So there we go. That's going to be wonderful. So I hope you guys have a nice 4th of July, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.